Stevenage secured only their second home win of 2006 with a thoroughly deserved victory over Aldershot. Graham Wesley can take out many positives from this game as the Hertfordshire team look to keep up the pressure on their rivals battling for a playoff place. Inside the opening seven minutes and a really good chance falling to the visitors. A free kick just inside the opposition half by Darren Barnard. It wasn't cleared in the six-yard box and John Bruff will be annoyed that his shot was ballooned over the crossbar. The best thing to emerge from this fixture was the quality on display from both these sides in the conference. This match showed it in bucketfuls. Nine minutes into the game and Stevenage's best opportunity thus far fell to John Nurse. A long ball forward, but he was closed down by Nicky Bull. It was the home side who took the lead on 16 minutes. A rare error by Nicky Bull in the Aldershot goal. A well-worked move. Bullman passing the ball to George Boyd, dead centre of the penalty area. A neat little sidestep and a really simple shot. Bull should have had it covered. It trickled through his hands. 1-0 to Stevenage Borough. But the lead didn't last long. Two minutes, in fact, as Aldershot bagged an equaliser. They pressed up the right wing, and it was poor defending by Stevenage inside their own six-yard box. The ball fell to Nicky Crittenden, and a good shot by him that really should have been covered by Alan Julian. Again, possibly the keeper at fault. 1-1 the scoreline. But Julian did much better a minute or so later, after Miller had brought down Holloway inside the Aldershot half. A long-ranging free kick from John Bruff picked out Leroy Griffiths. A good turn and shot by him, Julian was equal to it. And if Julian made amends at this end, Nicky Bull did exactly the same five minutes later. Good counter-attacking play by Stevenage, George Boyd looked clean through. Bull did well to tip the shot round the post. Into the second half, and on 47 minutes, the shots managed to get the ball into the back of the net. Unfairly, said the referee. A challenge on the keeper. The goal didn't stand. Just two minutes later, an order shot really should have got a second. A decent through ball from Crittenden picked out Dixon, but the on-loan striker from Wickham decided to go for the narrow-angle shot rather than cut it back for Griffiths. The result? The ball was in the side netting. The home side continued to mount pressure, particularly from the set piece. A decent corner by Adam Miller wasn't cleared by the shots, and it was John Nurse who had the final effort on goal. A good claim by Bull. The real turning point in this game came on 75 minutes as Darren Barnard was sent off. Ten minutes earlier, he picked up a yellow card for this challenge on Adam Miller. It seemed unlucky, the referee though probably viewing his persistent offending. Then on 75 minutes, the second yellow card. It all stemmed from a shot's free kick. The ball was half cleared by Stevenage Borough, and as they threatened to break away, Darren Barnard was chasing back to defend. He caught the player, the referee brandishing a second yellow card. It was a red, all the shot down to ten men for the remaining minutes of this game. And in an ironic twist, Stevenage Borough were to score from that free kick. It was well worked with plenty of space as the shots defended oh so deep. The ball knocked in by Bullman, a header across the face of goal by Stamp, and Dino Marmaria was there to slide it in from close range. Stevenage Borough 2, all the shot 1 now. In the remaining minutes, Stevenage Borough decided to sit on their 2-1 advantage, but not before they'd made a substitution. With eight minutes to go, John Nurse made way for new Nigerian signing Eric Abina, and Abina was going to endear himself to the Broad Hallway faithful immediately. As the goal kick was taken, he wanted to get in the thick of the action. Really good close ball control, and his hard work earned Stevenage Borough a free kick in a dangerous position with under ten minutes to go. 
He's definitely one to look out for in the conference. Don't forget the name, Erika Bina. Unfortunately, even he couldn't get on the score sheet, but neither could all the shot again. The final score at Broadhall Way, Stevenage Borough 2, all the shot 1.